Peace, family. Peace, peace, peace. Okay, so before we get into the video, get into it, get into it. Okay, I need you guys to sing this mantra. Okay, I am a firm believer of if you want your life to get better, you have to change your perception. Okay, so one, two, three. Everything's working in my favor. 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 Everything, everything, ooh, everything's working in my favor. Ooh, everything's working in my favor. Ooh, okay. Peace, 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 peace. I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. If not, do understand and get your day is going to get better once your perception gets better. Today's video is about add and value, honey. Yes, you heard it right. Add and value. So for a long time, I felt so disconnected. Okay. And I guess that was because I wasn't adding any value. I thought shopping, okay, and me buying things so I could get compliments because I was trying to fill voids um, that I had within myself. I was trying to fill those voids by not paying attention to them or running away from them, okay? Also, the emotions, right? My emotions, I didn't want to deal with them. And we all know that emotions are nothing simply but energy and motion, okay? So whatever it is that you're going through, is best that you express it. So how did I get to the part of me adding value and knowing what my passion is, my purpose is? One of the things I highly um, suggest is you spend some time with yourself, okay? Because if you are putting out into the universe or whatever it is you believe in, if you are saying, I want to know my, what my purpose is, you will get an answer back in return. For so long, right, many of you guys know my backstory. First of all, if you are new to my channel, my name is Dina. Okay, Dina Bryant. I do these inspirational videos, some bargain, some shopping. So if there is something for you, honey, if you think you like that, okay, or if you feel in the energy, make sure you guys subscribe and leave a comment and a like. So... Um, for so long, right, I would just be buying stuff and I didn't understand the reason I felt incomplete. First of all, I took myself from like, I felt alone. And when I say I took myself from, it felt like what I was going through, I was the only one going through it, right? It felt like nobody else would understand me. Nobody else would get me. And the reason being was because I wasn't getting myself. I wasn't being authentic to myself. And I cared more so about other people's opinion than as opposed of how I felt about me. Other people's opinion, it mattered to me so much that I was willing to keep up this persona, this facade, just so people could think that I wasn't crazy. Okay, now I'm a little cry cry, okay? But I would do that just so people wouldn't think that I was crazy. You know, I would agree with people even if I felt like what they stood for or what they were saying, right? If I felt like, uh, I don't agree with that. But I would agree with it because I wanted to be like, and I didn't want to be by myself, okay? So how did I start adding value or how did I start um, understanding what my purpose, my passion was? So I told you guys before, for me, I knew something was wrong with what I was doing. And when I say what I was doing, I knew I did not come here just to work and pay bills. And that felt like mainly what I was doing. Honey, sometimes if I'm going to be honest with you, honey, sometimes those damn bills wasn't getting paid. Okay. Because I was too busy trying to hold up this persona, this facade of I got everything together on the outside, but honey, on the inside, okay, and my financial status, okay, it was crappy to say the least, okay, and 
I didn't understand for a long time. See, you got to, honey, if this video is jumpy, stick with me, okay? You got to understand. The reason you do certain things is because what you have been programmed to do. Okay, now, it don't make sense for you to blame the adults because what you have to understand is they did the best that they knew how to do. If they knew how to do something better, honey, believe me, they would have done something better. Okay, sometimes I, they would have, right? They would have done something better. See, we can't do what no one ever taught us or demonstrated to us to do. Okay, so they did the best that they knew how to do. So getting back to the story. So for me, I kept on putting this statement out because I knew... I did not come here to work and work so hard at that and pay bills. Okay, the illusion of, you know, paying the bills. Because like I said, sometimes the bills wouldn't get paid. Um, but shop and go back to feeling the same exact way. And that same exact way was incomplete. I felt like no matter how much I shopped, I still was feeling incomplete. I still was feeling like I had a void. The void felt like it was not being fulfilled. Okay. And 2018, okay, I had my spiritual awakening. But prior to my spiritual awakening, I've been putting this statement out into the universe for a long time. And at that time, I didn't know what the, I didn't know the universe or anything like that. But I just was putting this statement out. And you know how when you was a child, right, maybe you heard big mama, right, your grandmother or your mama or whoever, the elders, you would hear them say, um, seek and ye shall find their statement, honey, their statement is so true, okay, because by me putting that statement out, it caused me to discover what my purpose was, okay, like, and I know, because you're like, help, but how? What happened was, I believe in synchronicity. Okay, now, I didn't know what the heck synchronicity was back then, okay? I didn't know what it was. And synchronicity is just basically the universe is speaking to you, okay? It's speaking through things to you. So you may be watching television and a show may come on and you may have had that thought like, what should I make for dinner tonight, right? And maybe you was a little undecided. And then the commercial or the show come on and say, oh, well, we're going to have X, Y, and Z. And then you're like, oh, my goodness, I just was thinking it, right? Or time, you know, the time like 2, 2, 2, 11, 11, right? So that would be synchronicity. So what happened to me was I put that statement out, right? In 2018, I always been pretty much a person that, wanted to find information out, right? Like wanted to discover new things. And I remember when I had, I was on YouTube and I had came across a video with rapper B.O.B., okay? And basically he was talking about the universe. And up until that point, I never heard like, you know, anyone say the universe, synchronicity, you know, chakras, kundalini, um, you know, all these different things. I mean, I heard people say about chakras, but not in the depth that he was saying it and the way he was speaking about it. It felt like now I've been a part of religion before and no shade to the people that's a part of religion, honey. You always do what works for you. Okay. This is your journey and your journey alone. Okay. Is for you to see what's working for you. But when I was part of religion, it was like I had so many questions after something was taught, right? Like, say, for instance, the pastor may have preached about something. And then I'm like, but what about that, right? Like, I always had questions because I would question stuff. And just because it was a pastor or a teacher or whoever it was, I did not care, okay? I still would question things. I would not just be like, accept somebody else's reality or beliefs. Well, I was accepting other people's beliefs, but I wasn't accepting whatever, okay? So, anywho, um, so I was 
watching rapper B.O.B. talk about, um, you know, all these foreign things to me that I never heard about. And then he talked about meditation. And I was like, meditation? But I told you guys, I was so eager for change. I was so eager for something different. I was so eager to get something that I never got before. And you know why? Because I am a firm believer of if you do the same, you get the same. If you do different, you get different. And so I was at this point where as though I was like, you know what? I don't give a damn. I am going to do different. Okay. And from me doing different, I started meditating. And from that meditation, I had got a download for me to start doing videos, get people out the matrix. Okay. And I've been doing videos ever since. And I'm so passionate about doing the videos, honey. Like, it feels so good to be able to wake up and say exactly how you feel, okay? And people are going to get you because they are your tribe, okay? You get what I'm saying? Like, your vibe is going to attract your tribe. And for a long time, I did not understand that. I did not get that. But let me tell you something. You add value by the thing that you absolutely love to do, okay? And also by you being authentic because you can't add value if you're not being authentic or true to you. Another thing what you have to understand is, well, I probably, I guess you can, um, but again, you attract your tribe, right? And another thing what you have to understand is this. It's going to be times where as though you are afraid probably to say certain things, but honey child, don't even worry about that, okay? Because it's the thing that you are afraid to say that you wind up saying <laughs> that people are going to gravitate towards you more, the real ones, okay? The ones that is not living um, up or upholding this persona or whatever. Even if they uphold in this persona, it's like, it's something you speak into their spirit. And it's like, all right, I'm going to watch her video some more, right? Maybe they not, you know, but I'm going to watch her video some more. I know for me, at times, like if I'm not speaking up or if it's at a time where as though I'm not being authentic to myself, maybe I should say something and I don't, right? So you have to understand everything is already within you. You don't need to go like out or buy it, right? Your gift is within you already. And with that being said, I love you guys. Peace.